Hi guys, and welcome along to today's video. Now I've been asked if it's okay to bend copper tube with one of these springs. Now they have their limitations, but I know why a lot of you prefer these in a way is that you can get one of these very, very cheap, and when you've done with it, literally throw it away even because they're so cheap. But what you're saying is that you've only got to do one or two little bends in a bit of pipe. If I buy a bending machine, which is a lot, lot more money, it's just going to end up in the back of my garage, never used, after I've done the little job that I want it for. So, is it okay to use one of these here bending springs? And what's the results going to be? Well, let me show you. First off then, before we start using the spring, I'll just show you the results with a bending machine. And as you can see with this, it's a perfect crossover set. And you can get that lovely smooth finish without any ripples on the insides of the bends. Or anything usually with a bending machine you do get that lovely finish but I know we're talking about a lot of money for those again with a 90 there'll be virtually no ripples inside now I'm not saying with some bending machines and with some copper pipe that's available these days so thin that you can still get ripples in using one of those so you're not completely safe but obviously with a bending spring there's more chance so let's have a try with a bending machine the bending machine the spring <laughs> <laughs> so, I'm going to insert this into this tube now and see if I can bend it on my knee to 90. It's a little short bit, so it'll be nice and hard to, to pull. Stick it in the tube. Now, you used to be able to get springs that fit on the outside of the pipe as well to bend, but I've always preferred the ones that go inside. I'll just stick it out at the end, a little piece there. Okay, and put it on my knee, and let's see how we get back. Yeah, I'll get back here, I'll get a bit more leverage, and we'll give it a go. Now, generally, with these, you've got to do nice and slowly and it's even then very tough we're halfway there it's really hard i haven't been a bit on a spring for a long time as you can gather <laughs> and literally i'm running out of muscle now i've got that far but if i'd had a longer length i probably would have done it let's go and a bit more nearly there so a severe limitation if you've just got a short bit that you're trying to bend you probably won't get enough leverage on it I've only managed to get it round to there and there is already a ripple in it here so not good so if you want a short piece that's all you've got and you're trying to bend it you won't get it right round it becomes a little bit too tough <laughs> Let's try a set of a longer piece of pipe, shall we? Right then, next I'm going to do a set in this bit of tube here. Now one other thing to remember with the spring is that if it's been cut with a tube cutter at one end, you won't get the spring down inside of it. Okay, it won't go. You've got a junior hack saw it off. It's a bit rough, but then the spring will go in the pipe. Okay, so it's just a little thing with it. So what we're going to do now is just do a simple set with it. I'll get back here and I'll expand it back a bit so you can see it going on my knee. And I'm going to pull it that way on my knee. You have to have strong knees by the way. <laughs> and back the other way until we get something like a set there. And we get in there now. I'll show you that on the wall. Now you can straighten the set up if it's a bit crooked, like so. Let's pull it around a bit more now. Now the good thing with them is so if you want to do a little bit of a bigger set, you've done one, but it still isn't big enough, you can just put it back on your knee and give it another quick go. I know you can with a bending machine, but it's a lot more hassle than just doing this on your knee. Also, if you want to take some of it out, you can put the bend the other way against your knee like that, and the other way that way, and take it out. So you can actually take some of the set out if that's what you needed to do to get it right. So it is handy in the respect of setting and getting it exactly right. You won't be able to pull that set too tight, you won't get it on your knee, it will probably ripple. Now there's no ripples in this because it's only a small set, it's only a small bend, but obviously as I showed you with the full bend, you're probably gonna get ripples. <laughs> okay, but that's being said, hand little tool. Um, if you wanna get the spring out easier, it's best just to back the bends off a fraction on your knee, and then it will come out easy. Otherwise, the, the spring also bites on the bend, and you'll be pulling like this, and it won't come out. 
So another little restriction. So there we have it and it's, it's got its uses, handy, cheap as chips. And if you're only going to do one or two bends and never use a bending machine again in your life because it's just going to sit in the back of the garage after that because you're not a plumber and you've done the job you need to do and that's it, then probably one of these is handy in that sense. I still carry one of these in a toolbox anyway along with a bending machine because sometimes you do just think I oh, will just do a quick bend on a bit of pipe to get to whatever a feed or somewhere and it isn't worth bringing a bender in if it's just a small little set like this still useful so it has its use it's not as accurate or anything as well as a bending machine obviously but i get you out of jail card <laughs> one of these okay that's about it though just want to show you that one and uh, that's it catch you up again next time and uh, keep watching my videos thanks very much Darren 33 you know where to go bye bye